and some areas just got pounded with this snowstorm. Check out the totals. Ken Carroll buried in right there. 17.7 .7 inches. Palmer Lake, 19 inches came down. Cripple Creek and Perry Park, both getting 20 inches of snow. Echo Lake, 21, and Floyd Hill, the winner, two feet of that <laughs> heavy wet stuff, Karen. Well, some people high up in the mountains got buried in this storm, including along the Blue River in Summit County. Spencer Wilson live in that area as people still work to get out. And Spencer, winter just doesn't want to quit up there. Karen, the sun has done a great job, though. In the meantime, melting all that snow. But after Friday afternoon in that storm, neighbors were dealing with some significant snow totals. Cosmo. Gary Weesey says he made a grocery store trip Friday, then hunkered down as the snow fell. He just kept on snowing and snowing and snowing. Across the street, Natalie Munson was also watching the snow come down. And then by noon, it was coming down big snowflakes and just started to accumulate and started to just get higher and higher and we knew that we were going to be snowed in. Munson ended up with a monster pile of snow out front. When it finally stopped, Weesey's and his dog Cosmo got to shoveling the feet of snow. For reference, I'm 5'9 and although it's not super tall, this is the kind of snow that we're talking about. I just shoveled this out last week. Time to shovel again. An added chore, but a welcome, if not surprising, moisture delivery. We've even been talking in town with people and they've never seen it snow this late, this much. At least there's been water absorbed into the ground and hopefully we'll help with the fires. You definitely tell that moisture being absorbed right as we speak. I'm standing in some mud right now. Blue River officially getting 17 inches, like you guys mentioned. Not exactly the most snow in Colorado, but definitely significant when we're talking about totals. Live in Blue River, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first.